Hello everyone, and welcome to part one of our two-part Tokyo Game Show gameplay recap for Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain. That's right, TPP, not MGO. Of course, the Phantom Pain is out now, and fans have spent many, many hours with the game, and some of you may even be making your own narrated gameplay videos, which is awesome. But there are secrets and features buried deep within the game that can be easy to miss, even if you've cleared all the main story missions. This two-part video recap is here to shed some light on just a few of the cool, hard-to-find features you may have missed, and to whet the appetites of those who have just started out. The mission we'll tackle, in part one, is eliminate the tank unit 12, which, as you can see, is mission number 125 in this huge list of side ops. Please select a landing zone. So we'll go ahead and select the landing zone. then select our loadout. This is an advanced mission, featuring heavily armored soldiers, so we'll need to bring proper gear with us. What you see on the screen right now is a fully customized weapon that can only be built by rescuing the legendary gunsmith within the side ops to unlock the game's deep weapon customization system. This allows you to freely mix and match parts from various weapons in your arsenal, yielding a virtually limitless number of combinations. And next, we'll select our buddy. Likewise, your buddies can also be upgraded in a variety of ways by investing in R&D. D-Walker, as you can see, can be fitted with various heavy armaments, turning him into a war machine that can hold its own in battle, even against enemy tanks. And as for Quiet, if you're a longtime MGS fan, then you'll be very happy to know that you can unlock Sniper Wolf's iconic outfit. And we'll couple that with a suppressor-equipped sniper rifle. Next up, there's D-Dog, who can get his own battle dress, affording him added protection in battle, which would be wise for advanced missions such as this. <laughs> and finally, there's Furycorn mode for D-Horse, which not only looks incredibly cool, but also increases D-Horse's top running speed. Since we'll be covering a lot of ground in this mission, we'll go ahead and start with D-Horse. And you'll notice in the background that we've unlocked the Outer Heaven emblem. As players know, you can gather various emblem parts during your missions to customize as you wish. So that wraps up our mission prep. Let's go ahead and depart to the mission area ASAP. Deploying. The objective in this side up is to eliminate an enemy tank, but by committing resources to R&D, we've upgraded our Fulton to the point where we can recover the tank rather than destroying it. This will maximize the GMP and staff rewards for the mission, so naturally, that's the approach we'll take for this playthrough. There's an enemy helicopter patrolling in the distance, so we'll need to be careful and avoid it as we make our approach. So we've disembarked. First thing we'll do is mark our destination. Marker placed. Then head there on D-Horse. Once again, we are using the Furicorn uniform, which means that D-Horse will travel faster than normal. Now note that if our goal was to simply clear the mission, we could do so very quickly by calling in an airstrike but that would destroy resources and kill potential recruits to Mother Base, putting us in the red. As this is a Metal Gear game, there are almost always greater rewards for using non-lethal stealth approaches. And we've entered the side ops mission area, so we'll swap D-Horse out, and call in D-Dog to help us scout the area. We'll say goodbye to D-Horse, and approach on foot. But before we head in, that helicopter in the distance could complicate things for us, so let's get it out of the way. 
We'll go ahead and use the customized sniper rifle with suppressor. Then to ensure that we down the helicopter before it can pinpoint our location, we'll use Accelerament, which accelerates Snake's reflexes, simulating reflex mode on demand. Helicopter is down, the enemy is on alert, they have no fix on our location. Sniper in the distance, but he hasn't noticed us, so we'll take care of him later. And there's our primary target, the red tank. It has the strongest attack power among all enemy tanks, and has significant armor. So it would be wise to take care of the other enemies in the area first, so that we can concentrate solely on battling the tank when that time comes. Presence detected. The map has been updated. It looks like we have another sniper here. Let's have D-Dog lend us a hand. Analysis complete. Attack! So he's incapacitated. We'll just go ahead and pull him back to base. And you can see the red tank there. There's still various hazards in the area. Analysis complete. So let's see if we can sneak around and disable some of these guards. Analysis complete. Notice that there's also an enemy lookout Analysis here. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. It's not our target, but if we're spotted, it could make life difficult for us. So sneak around to the rear of the outpost and incapacitate these Extraction guys as well. Arrived at mother base. Analysis complete. position now. And the feature we want to show you is a very cool move that you can do with the stun arm once you've leveled it up to its highest rank. To use it, we'll charge the arm up till it reaches its max level. And when you're in range, unleash it calling lightning down upon your foes, instantly knocking out everyone within a 45 meter radius. Alright, so now all that's left to do is go ahead and pull and recover all of these guys. And we'll go ahead and take some of their artillery while we're at it. It's important for us to take care of all of these guys as they may wake up later and cause problems for us. So we'll just go ahead and fold them back to base. Oh. 
Alright, so now that we've cleared the area and marked most of our targets, let's swap D-Dog out for Quiet so that she can help us engage our targets. Departing area of operations. Analysis complete. All right, we're waiting for quiet, but it looks like there's an enemy vehicle incoming. We wouldn't want it to mess things up for us, so let's see if we can disable it using an EM netmine. Buddy has arrived at sniping. The map has been updated. And there we go. EM net mine lets out an electromagnetic pulse, which can incapacitate vehicles. And let's go ahead and pull from these guys back to base, along with the vehicle itself. And it looks like Quiet has made it to our sniping point. So let's continue on into our targets. As usual, it's a good idea to gather resources along the way. So let's go ahead and grab some of these. pair of soldiers here. So we'll use some teamwork with Quiet to take these guys out. So what we're going to do is try to take these guys out with some sleep gas grenades, but it's always more effective if they're in one spot to ensure that we can get them both. So we'll first throw a magazine out, stop them. And while they're investigating the sound, we'll throw out the sleep grenade and knock both of them out. And good job, Sniper Wolf. Or should I say quiet? Alright, so we'll go ahead and Fulton these guys out. Red tank there. Now we also have a drum can here, which we may be able to put to good use. Let's go ahead and plant some C4, so that we can remotely detonate it from a distance. And let that be a trap that we use later in the stage. Four enemies ahead. Quiet has a lock on them. Wherever these enemies are equipped with both helmets and shields. So we'll go ahead and use one of our customized weapons that has an underbarrel attachment, which adds a secondary attack to our weapon. In this case, we have sleep grenades equipped, so we should be able to take these guys out. Extraction arrived at Mother Base.
line up our shot. Use our grenade launcher. Right, that worked. The soldiers heard noises and are now focused on our position. We'll need to lay low. So let's have quiet change sniping points. And we'll also change some of our own equipment to swap out to our rocket arm. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. While the enemy is on alert, they're likely to spot and shoot down Fulton balloons. So we'll lay low and approach slowly, allowing time for the alert to clear before we Fulton these guys out. Those guys are gone. Only three targets left. That said, one of them is a tank, so we'll take out these other snipers first. Alright, and our supply drop has arrived. Let's go ahead and grab it. position next to quiet and use teamwork with her to shoot off their helmets then deliver the headshot I saw nothing quiet will take aim and nicely done And for the last sniper, we'll go ahead and use our newly delivered rocket arm to take him out from a distance. Note that when you use the rocket arm, you can guide it like a missile in first person view. That's quite maneuverable and we don't want to hit quiet. Although you could if you wanted to. Although I don't know why you would. Alright, so let's just keep on looking and find our target. Alright, so the sniper is down. All that's left is the red tank. Things are going to get pretty heavy right now, so we'll go ahead and call in D-Walker in place of quiet. As mentioned previously, the red tank is incredibly powerful, so we'll use D Walker to even the odds with some heavy firepower of our own. Walker has arrived. has arrived. Let's go ahead and take care of this quickly. First thing we'll do is we'll use that C4 we said earlier to cause a distraction. Then go all out with D Walker. Do note that the tank is heavily armored on the front, but we can hit from the side and back where it's weaker. Get a lock on. Unload and approach quickly. Close range, we'll switch to our machete. Note that this is the same machete that the skulls use, and it is extremely powerful. So we'll circle around, try to get spotted, and do as much damage as possible. We did get spotted, so we'll just keep on whacking at it. And we've done enough damage that it's slowed down. 
And now we should be able to open it safely. And that's it. We managed to extract our targets. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. All we need to do is get back to Mother Base. So we'll go ahead and call in our chopper and set some theme music to play as our chopper music as it's on its way. Snake Eater should do nicely. Please select a support helicopter requested. For those who are busy playing Metal Gear Solid 5's main missions, don't forget to take a look at the side ops and invest properly in Mother Base to unlock the full potential of Snake and your buddies. Gather GMP, weapons, and resources to build up Mother Base, and be sure to listen to all the tapes to get the proper intel and deeper story points for each mission. By doing so, you'll be able to get the fullest experience from the game. And that's it for this side up. But it's not over yet. Be sure to check out part two of our Tokyo Game Show recap for more hidden features, Easter eggs, and tips, along with an introduction to a few of the DLC costumes coming later this month. And for console gamers, don't forget to download Metal Gear Online when it goes live on October 6th. Thank you for watching.